can't even see. <laughs> I mean, like, Hey y'all. Hey y'all. It's Bria Simone and we are starting with a four by four closure. Um, and now I'm going to cut it down in the middle and make it a V part. This wig is actually from my first lace closure install video and nothing was wrong with the lace. I could have kept wearing it, but I don't really like lace fronts like that. So, so I sewed on four clips, two clips on each side for the V part wig. And I'm just showing you guys up close on what it looks like. I just sewed it on as if, you know how you sew on clips to make clip-ins or whatever the case may be if you really want to like in-depth tutorial on how to sew it on you can you know there's tons of videos on that on youtube or if you want one for me <laughs> then i can show you as well but right now i'm just literally clipping the wig on so i'm just going over the hair with a flat iron because there is some slight waves to it after blow drying and i don't want that to mess up the crimps Now, of course, I'm taking down my leave out and I actually didn't blow dry it or anything. I just braided it up and left it alone after um, washing the conditioner out. And so then I'm going to detangle and apply the Chi heat protectant. Now my leave out straightened pretty well. I wasn't too sure on how it was gonna come out because I didn't blow dry it. It looks super good. It blended in with the weave nicely. And y'all, just keeping up with a small portion of your leave out is so much easier than, you know, trying to keep up with a whole silk press like y'all. <laughs> Because usually, like, for the most part, I wear my natural hair out, but when I want some length or whatever, I'll just apply some clippings real quick. But then that means, you know, all of my hair is out, so it's harder to keep up with the roots reverting just by taking a shower. Like, it's annoying. But this, I've had no problems. Like, and this is after, I didn't even blow dry my leave out. Like, this is so much easier. <laughs> like, I'm finna do this way more often. Right here, I'm about to use a Sharpie to cover up the brown, the lace basically, because some of the brown was peeking out through my leave out. So I cut as much as I could, but I didn't want to cut too much of the lace, you know, because then I'm cutting more of the hair and I didn't like that. I'm going to leave the edges out next time because that will blend way better. I'm going to apply the olive oil spray to hold the crimps. And when it comes to crimping, okay, for one, this is a very old crimp. Okay, I need to get another one. But I leave it on for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then after that, I crimp and move down directly where the last crimp ended. So you don't want to leave like a big space between the two crimps because then it starts looking weird. I really hope y'all understand what I'm saying, but you want to start right under the last crimp. I also wanted to mention that I spray the holding spray before I crimp the section and then after I'm done crimping the section. So each section I do that. Crimping is a very time consuming and tedious process. So you really want to take your time, like make sure you got enough time to get ready when doing this hairstyle.
see them crumbs though don't they look good period <laughs> and i also use some makeup some concealer to clean up my part a little bit but just a little bit and i like that holding spray because it holds the crimps but not too much so it's not super hard and crimpy but it still like looks soft and pretty hey y'all so i'm in the bathroom and i know it's a weird setting and lighting whatever it is but i'm going to try this glitter and it's specifically made for your hair so it's not gonna you know cut or damage your hair or anything and the bathroom lighting is trash and i try to do it with my ring light and my other light that i have but it was just not working out so we gonna use this lighting okay all right but the crimps came out really good i want to like block my face so i'm like do this while I I got this from Sally's, but I've seen um, a video. Okay, her name is Sierra. Um, I watched her do it and it came out so cute, especially with her pink hair. So I decided to buy it and she had got it from Sally's. So we're going to apply this to the crimps and I feel like it'll look really cute with some crimps. Okay, period. period. Oh, it smells good. I see the particles in everywhere, it's flying everywhere. Okay, do y'all see the blend of my leave out though? Look oh, at that. So oh my, cute. look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna, um. Can y'all see? Oh, y'all can't even see it for real. Dang, you can't even see it though. Hey, so it's pretty cute. You can definitely see and tell that it's glitter, but it's not super like in your face, like, oh, she got. It. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was definitely something different, something new. Um, I definitely want to figure out how to get the lighting just right so I can film it here more often so I could just switch it up because it is getting a little repetitive me filming in front of my vanity every time so yeah you guys but I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time